Hello, everyone. So thanks for the introduction, uh, Julieta. I'm Arnaud uh, Varin. I'm a senior product manager for Tico Spotfire. And I'm happy to be here today and start the new year with this uh, presentation of, uh, of what's new in our latest release, Spotfire 12.2, that we released a few days um, back. In this presentation, I don't think I would make any forward-looking uh, statements, but um, in the case I do, uh, we have this standard disclaimer in place here. As a quick introduction about Spotfire, um, Spotfire is used uh, across all analytics and BI uh, use cases. We think that with Spotfire, we bring one single experience for data visualizations, of course, uh, but also data wrangling, data science apps that may be consumed by hundreds or thousands of users, um, analytics on the field on mobile devices, and now also taking actions, um, actions on insights right from visualizations to your external operational systems, all in one single platform and used every day by both uh, business users and also really advanced users, analysts, data scientists, engineers, researchers. And to support all of these uh, use cases, Spotfire lets you use all kinds of data, static data, data in motion, big or small data, in memory, in database and uh, in any combination. And where Spotfire really shines is in immersive and interactive visual data exploration, um, combining data science and visual exploration to get to precise uh, insights. You can visualize everything with Spotfire. We have now about 40 visualizations in total to visualize everything. Uh, with always an immersive, playable experience to get from data to deep insights in the fastest time and with instant feedback. 40 different visualization types to present data in exciting ways um, with visualizations tailored to specific needs, uh, specific roles, industries, and use cases. Embedded data science is also where Spotfire has traction with the simplest and the, the most dynamic data science capabilities truly integrated in the visual analytics experience. And this is a lot about data functions, data functions that enable point and click, no code data preparation, data enrichment, data modeling, and very advanced features, AI, machine learning, and, and predictive models from within the visual analytics experience. And in this area, we have about, I believe, 60, 60 plus data functions and data transformations available that really enable any users uh, to use data science techniques without having to know uh, Python or R and without requiring um, any deep technical experience. We think that pure data science tools are often too complex for most users and they like the interactive visualizations and the exploration aspects that we have in Spotfire. And actions. Spotfire has always been about using data to answer questions, but why not act immediately on insights directly from the data representation? And that's what we've been solving since Spotfire 12 LGS uh, that we released this summer with cloud actions that lets you act on insights to perform scoped actions to virtually any external endpoint, like sending a Slack message or updating a database or starting a process flow, scheduling a maintenance, um, creating an alert, all without leaving Spotfire. We have many use cases for action, and this is made possible by the deep and secure integration of Spotfire in the TIPCO platform with TIPCO cloud integration that allows for taking actions in more than 200 commercially supported connections to various business systems and more than 1,800 community connectors and hundreds of accelerators. 
All right, so let's move to SpotFair 12.2. SpotFair 12.2 was released just a few days back, and this is a mainstream release. We have mainstream releases approximately every one or two months, and these releases are dedicated to customers who want to get the latest features and enhancements as quickly as possible. If you're using long-term supported uh, releases, uh, SpotFair 11.4 and SpotFair 12 are the current LTS releases under support, and they are not affected by this release. But still, if you're an LTS user, it's still interesting to hear about mainstream releases because what's new in these releases will be part of the next LTS release. We will see today that Chico Spotfair 12.2 adds support for Ubuntu, the most popular uh, Linux distribution, and introduces several improvements to the experience, the experience for web authors, users, and administrators. And I will start with visual analytics. In Spotfair 12.2, date axes in visualizations can now be formatted using ISO weeks and years standard to display dates in charts. The purpose of this standard is to provide an ambiguous and a well-defined method for representing dates uh, to avoid misinterpretation of numeric representation, especially when data transfers between countries with different conventions. So ISO year, ISO week um, is now available as an additional formatting option in visualizations access. With Spotfire 12.2, we are bringing the tags feature to web authors. Tags is uh, a feature that we have in the desktop client for a long time. And this feature enables analysts and application developers to gather according to their own choice and to quickly identify rows that are tagged uh, in different visualization contexts. For example, um, gathering the top 100 values and tag them, or um, assigning tags to values like good, bad, or OK. So yeah, with Spotfire 12.2, web authors with a Spotfire analyst license can now attach and manage tags from the web clients. We also have two visualizations updates. We have an update to the list visualization, which was released uh, mid last year, I think, and which displays a selectable list of unique values in the column or a hierarchy. And this visualization now supports searching through the values to filter the list. And search also supports uh, the Spotter search syntax. And the list visualization now supports sorting by a specific column. And in addition to this, uh, there are some performance and look and feel improvements to the visualization. We also have an update to the tag visualization. Uh, this visualization was also released um, early this summer, I think, and can be used to display a set of selectable tags that can be marked to query a data set based on keyword. And this updates bring an improvement to marking uh, with now the ability to unmark all tags. Now we have uh, new visualizations coming soon uh, with the weather visualization to get live weather information and seven days forecasts for one or multiple locations. And this visualization is using the open weather map service data. This visualization is um, coming soon on the TIPCO Community Exchange. And the Pareto chart also coming soon to quickly highlight the most important issues or contributors uh, among a set of categories. This is kind of uh, a standard chart when it comes to identifying areas to focus on first um, in process improvements, for instance, or quality controls. And this visualization was developed by a team of students in Sweden and will be made available soon on the TIPCO Community Exchange. Now, data management, data wrangling, um, as I said earlier, with Spotfire 12.2, we added support for ISO dates formatting in visualization. And we also added ISO weeks and ISO year as functions to be used in calculations. For instance, adding a calculated column uh, with ISO dates. Now, 
With Spotfire 12.2, we are bringing data export capabilities to web authors. Exporting data to file or exporting data to the library is something we had in the desktop client, and it's now available in the web client as well. So web authors um, from the web client can now export data from a Spotfire analysis to the library as a SVGF file, which stores data and metadata. And they can also export data from a Spotfire analysis and download it locally as a text file, CSV, SBDF, or Excel file. We also have an improvement to the data canvas, where the data in analysis panel is now accessible, the data panel here. Um, before 12.2, you had to um, uh, leave the data canvas to be able to open this panel. So you don't need to quit the data canvas to access the data panel anymore. And we think this makes it much easier to view and edit columns properties uh, in the context of a selected data table in the data canvas. Now, data science. With this release, Chipco Cloud Spotfire users will be happy to see that the Spotfire service for Python is now available. And this means that the user the users can now consume analyses that contains um, Python data functions on Tipco Cloud on the web directly. Now for analytics applications, we have two new features specific to cloud actions. First with labels and descriptions. For application developers, uh, I mean users who configure actions and configure how they look to the end users, it is now possible to customize the labels and add descriptions to actions fields. And this makes it easier for end users uh, who run an action to understand better the type of inputs that are expected by the action. Oops. And we also have optional parameters for action. Um, and this makes it possible to skip some parameters that may not be necessary or may not be required by the external service um, that is called by the action. Now, on the library uh, administration and, and deployment side, we have now support for Ubuntu. With Spotfire 12.0 LTS, Released this summer, we made all Spotfire services available to run on Linux. We started with Debian uh, distribution, and now with 12.2, we support Ubuntu as operating system for all service. We support Ubuntu 22.4 LTS. We also have improvements to the library user experience uh, with search. It is now possible to search uh, for contributions made by specific users using filters um, in the library UI or using the search, search expressions created by and modified by. And you can also search for a specific version of an item in the library. You can search by the name of the version, by comments, or by who created a specific version. And when it comes to uh, library items versions in the library, administrators can also now define lower and upper limits on the number of versions to be kept for each library item. Um, we have a new command, the remove member command, also for administrators to quickly remove an existing user from a group or a group of users from another group. Now about OpenID Connect, we have a new configuration parameter in the config OIDC command to configure the use of the ID token int parameter in OpenID Connect authentication requests. The ID token int parameter is now disabled by default, and the result setting it to false is that uh, this parameter um, is not included in the, the authentication requests after a session times out. Still about authentication and to align better with NIST recommendations on security controls for authentication management, we added support in Spotfire Server 
for setting a minimum and a maximum length for password, password that are stored in the, in the Spotfire database. About monitoring of usages, with Spotfire 12.2, um, you can now capture usage data for actions in the user action log. Uh, and this data can be used to understand what actions are used in your analysis, by who and how they are used. And this may also help, uh, for instance, in uh, audit processes. My last point for today with information services, starting with Spotfire 12.2, uh, for new installations of, of Spotfire, we made changes to the included data source templates uh, for information services. PostgreSQL is now the data source template enabled by default. And we do not do, we do, we no longer include um, other data source templates. Uh, for instance, TB2, DB2 type 4, you have the list uh, here that are not included now. Um, this change affects uh, only the new installations uh, of the Spotfire server. If you're upgrading from an earlier version, uh, no changes are made to the templates in your, in your installation. And this is what's new in Spotfire 12.2, um, as you heard. Uh, in this release, we introduced several new features, improving the experience for web authors, administrators, and, and users. Some key announcements include support for ISO week uh, numbers, new options for actions parameters, and improved library research capabilities. Additionally, uh, with 12.2, we add support for Ubuntu, uh, which makes it uh, easier to deploy the Spotfire services on the, on the most popular uh, Linux distribution.